Look, you must remember 1976, right? There, there, there was something like <laughs> 16 days in a row of plus 30 degree weather. Yeah, it was. There were good times. Actually, I was I was a lot younger, but I do remember those times. You were a mere well. baby. The trouble is, yeah. The trouble is, Dan. We've we've had behavioural scientists telling us stuff for the last two and a half years about COVID and all the rest of it. And what it has done is actually made a significant number of millions of people in the country become so risk averse that they are now subconsciously requiring to be told when to fart or when to, do you know what I mean? They're ju- <laughs> they just, re- they, they feel without knowing it that, that they have to be told by somebody from the uh, UK Health Security Agency. And really, you know, when you think about the fact that there were soldiers fighting in Afghanistan in full battle uniform mm. in 110 degrees, you know, and 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 this argument that, that old people look i've always said this i said it about COVID, and i said it to you of course the vulnerable need to be looked after yeah it goes without saying it's got nothing to do with bloody sunshine or, or cold or whatever we should do that irrespective of whatever but um you know do not stop telling me to wear baggy clothes and and do this and do you know, it's none of your bloody business. And I was out in the garden today, Dan, doing the ironing. Debbie was at work, so I was doing the ironing. And I put the factor on, and I had some lots of nice cold water, and I thoroughly enjoyed the sunshine. And it was 86 up here in Cheshire, you know? Totally. And, and Charlie, the thing that really disturbs me really disturbs is me. young and healthy people being told to stay at home. Well, actually, Charlie, if that happens, if that is how society ends up, that puts the vulnerable at risk. I mean, who's going to deliver food for these people? Who's going to look after them at the GP's surgery if young and healthy people are staying at home? The messaging has to change. It should be if you're young and healthy, go and live your life. You're going to be absolutely fine, just like we're absolutely fine when we go on holiday to Spain or Thailand. If you're vulnerable, we'll look after you. That's what the messaging should be. I mean, there, was a, there was a girl on the, on the news this morning saying that she was going to shut the schools down. Oh. And, um, you know, it, it's just we are raising um, a bunch of risk averse young people who will be too scared to do anything unless they get permission by some health security agency or whatever. And it's it's to the detriment of this great country of ours. And uh, you and I and, and everybody else uh, on GB News and other certain other channels have seen this happening for, you know, seen it going on for, for the last sort of two and a half, nearly three years. And fortunately, you know, plenty of us decided that we were big enough and brave enough and bad enough and ugly enough to make up our own decisions and at the same token, look after our, our elderly and vulnerable people. And, and that's that's what we've done, you know, and... Um, I'm afraid the whole thing um, really just makes me angry and, and I feel very disappointed for the young people. And and I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know, God help us if we have to send an army to, to Ukraine or anywhere else because, um, you know, we're, we're, rearing a, we're rearing a younger generation that really um, we, we want to be proud of. But if we keep spoon-feeding them and wiping their backsides for them, until they're 25, we'll never get anywhere. I know, and, and, and say, no, don't worry, little Marty, you can stay in bed today because it's a little bit hot and I'm going to call up the school and say he's not going to come in. No, you get to school, you get to your job, we're here in 40-degree heat, that's how society keeps going. Charlie Lawson, Man of the People. 